It's unbelievable how many dropshippers overlook this one simple product research method that's right in front of their eyes. If you look here, we have an 11 ROAS, a 10 ROAS, a 10, 10, 9, 9, 8. We spent $894 to make back 7,890 with an overall 8.8 .8 ROAS using this one simple product research method. Welcome back for part two of the Zendrop Shopify store build series. I'm Bruce from EcomCon, and I'm super excited to get started taking the next steps to build out our store. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through part two, where we update all of our empty pages, build out the product page, add a few more products from Zendrop, and go over a few apps that we use on all of our stores. Stick around for the end of the video where I'm going to share with you an untapped product research method that goes overlooked by the vast majority of dropshippers. And before you do anything else, smash that like button. Let's get started. So now we're back in our Shopify dashboard and the first thing that we're gonna do is update those empty pages. And just like we promised in the last video, we have a doc that we're gonna share with you. You'll be able to copy and paste all of this stuff into your own stores. Uh, right now we're gonna start with the uh, shipping policy. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And remember, you can find your shipping policy by coming into settings, legal, let it load and scroll down to shipping policy. And we'll just paste it in and click save. And if you remember, we didn't add the shipping policy to our navigation menu. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna add it into the footer menu. So come back over here, come to footer, add menu item, and when we come down to policies, the shipping policies policies should, should now show up because we just updated save. Okay, and now we have our footer menu set up with the uh, shipping policy. Next, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna grab the frequently asked questions. Again, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. And we're going to come to our pages, come into frequently asked questions, and paste. Save, you're good to go. Now, one thing that you want to do is you want to update these pages. We have bolded for you the areas within the text that you need to update. So, for the frequently asked questions, you need to just update the email address. Uh, for the shipping policy, there's one or two spaces as well where you need to update um, for your own store. And one last time, we're gonna come in here and copy about. And we're gonna paste that into our about page. And click save. And once again, you can see the spots where you need to edit. All you need to do on the about page is switch out uh, your store name. And now we have updated all of our empty pages and we're ready to move on to the next step. Building out the product page. And if you remember from the last video, we gave you a resource for beginning dropshippers to use to start writing quality sales copy. Well, we use the Copywriters Playbook to write this product page. A link for it will be in the description below. So we have already written it. We're gonna come over and we're just gonna copy and paste it into our product page. And we're gonna paste it in and click save. So now we're gonna take you through how we create our high converting product pages. We always start with a headline that we center and we're gonna make it heading number three. And when you go through Copywriter's Playbook, they'll give you a lot of um, examples and lessons on how to create a high quality headline. So take your workout to the next level with our nine in one push-up board. So we're gonna, we've decided to name this product the nine in one push-up board. Nine in one push-up board. And remember, anytime you make a, a change on your product page, be sure to save it um, so that you don't lose track of uh, the things that you created. And as you can see, we don't have anything that looks like an eyesore right now. We're gonna go ahead and break these different sections of text up by adding images and GIFs to really make this product page start to pop. Um, as you can see, there's no no long paragraphs. Everything Everything's broken down. Um, we have the important points of the sentences bolded. We have other things italicized. We have the key features bolded with uh, sentences underneath describing them. Um, we have a what's included in the packaging. And we should probably also have a specifications 
um, section down here at the bottom. So now we're going to start to add some images into our product page to break up the different sections of text. And we can use the images that we uploaded directly from Zendrop. So we're going to come under here, right under the headline, and we're going to choose one of these images. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is come under the next couple sentences before the features and we're going to add in another another picture. And as you can see, we're just sort of breaking up the different sections of text here with, with images. And now before the what's included, go center. And go with her and save. Now let's have a, have a look at what the product page is starting to look like. Okay, so now we can see nine in one push-up board. And one of the first things that I see that we need to edit is this black handle type text uh, here from this image. And Shopify has a Photoshop tool within their product page that lets us do this really easily. So you don't need Photoshop or anything to, to edit images within Shopify. Uh, we have the headline, take your workout to the next level with an image, a couple sentences, image, features and text with another image and what's included and later on we'll add some reviews using the Luke's review app and they'll pop up down here and you'll also be able you'll also be able to see some of the stars uh, associated with those reviews up here um, another thing that we like to do instead of having an, an image here we'll have something that's called a gif which is basically a video that plays over and over again uh, without sound and that does a really good really good job of converting um, converting customers on your store. So now we'll come back into our product page and we'll edit this image. So all you have to do is click on the image, choose the paintbrush, and we have white selected, and we're just gonna come in here and erase it. And done. And I kind of clipped that a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, now we have our product page set up. So the next step is gonna be hopping back into Zendrop and adding a few more products for our fitness store. Now, typically we like to set up uh, stores in a single niche or we'll run a one product store. So let's hop back over to Zendrop and pick a couple products. So we'll search fitness. Um, so, we're going to choose products that we can add in as upsells. So when somebody adds the product we're running ads to uh, to the cart, this product will pop up uh, with a discount code and hopefully we can get them to purchase both and that'll increase our average order value um, and ultimately help make uh, more profit on the store. All right, so we've added a couple products to our import list. The next step is going to be to change the names, the descriptions, choosing the variants and the images and um, import them into the store. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll see you back in the store. So now we're back in the store and when we come back over to products, all the new products are added. And so one thing that we're going to want to do to organize our store is add all of these products into a collection that's associated with the collection that's in our main navigation menu. So we're gonna come over to products and collections and we're gonna delete all of these. And we're going to create a new one and we're just gonna call it best sellers. And we're gonna come down and choose manual because we're gonna be manually adding these products to the collection list. And now we're going to come back over to all products, select all of them, more actions, add to collection and best sellers. And now to be sure that they are on our navigation menu, we're going to come back to our main menu. We're going to edit shop and we're going to change the link to the correct collection list.
So now when we go to our navigation menu and we choose shop, it'll bring us to all the products. And so the next step is going to be to add some apps to our store. So we're going to come back over to our dashboard, choose apps and visit the Shopify app store. So we have four apps that we highly suggest that you add to any store. Uh, the first one is going to be Luke's. It's by far the best photo review app available um, in our opinion for, for Shopify stores. The next is going to be a currency converter because more than likely we're going to be targeting other countries like uh, the UK, Australia, um, places that are international. Currency converter plus is the best one. Um, their default settings are set up perfectly. As soon as you download it, you won't need to um, change any of the settings. The next one that we suggest you download is Abandonment Protector. Now this is gonna save you a ton, a ton of money because it's gonna help you recover money from those people who add your product to, uh, to their cart and go through checkout but decide not to purchase. What it's gonna do is it's gonna send them anywhere from one to three follow-up emails with a discount code and hopefully we'll get that, those, uh, those customers to, uh, to convert. And the final app that we suggest that actually comes along with abandonment protector, if you pay for abandonment protector, which is uh, $8 a month, you'll get the upsell kit for free right here. And we definitely suggest this app. It'll help increase your average order value. Um, like as we said, once you're running ads to a product, we have the other filler products on the store that will appear as upsells when, um, when a customer adds the product to a cart. And so these are the four apps that we highly suggest that you, you download. There'll be a link in the description that goes over each one in more detail. Um, we're going to go ahead and add them to the store and we will be back. So before we jump back into the Shopify store and start to edit some of those apps, I don't know if you remember some of those results that we showed you in the beginning of the video, the first 20 seconds or so. And then we went in and showed you a campaign that had about $900 ad spend and brought back almost $8,000 in sales, pushing almost a nine ROAS. Now we found that product with this one product research method that's free and you know what it is, Amazon movers and shakers. Let's check it out. So we're going to go on over to Google and we're going to search Amazon movers and shakers and we're going to click the first link. Now what Amazon movers and shakers are are the most trending pr products on Amazon over the last 24 hours and it updates every hour to show the biggest gainers in sales on Amazon. And you know Amazon, they sell pretty much everything, so they have every product, product category over here that you can use for research. So what we did, and you saw some of the results in the beginning of, uh, of this video, is we found a sports product on Amazon Movers and Shakers that was trending and it made perfect sense for us to sell, the profit margin was there. So we went on over to Zendrop and we had them source it for us. And uh, the results uh, speak for themselves, so. Don't don't leave out this product research tool. Take advantage of it. It's free. Use Amazon Movers and Shakers for your product research next time you are looking for a product to sell. So now we're back inside of our Shopify dashboard. We've done our product research. We've added our apps and we're ready to configure them. Now the first one that we're going to do is Luke's reviews. They make it super simple. All you have to do is come in and choose import reviews. Grab this button. Follow these instructions. Grab this button and drag it to your bookmarks bar and it'll appear right here and all we have to do is come over to aliexpress find the product that we're selling once we're on the page we'll click the button and you'll be able to download reviews very quickly you choose the product uh, choose how many uh, reviews you want to add at once we'll do five stars and up you can pick the country you can pick the language right now we're just going to add uh, reviews with photos and we're going to come in and we're going to choose which ones we want to add. If you don't like the text, um, it, it came in a month. If you don't want that, you can take the text out and we'll just go on and do this. We'll probably add anywhere from 30 to 50 reviews for each product and we'll just continue this process, um, throughout. So now we're going to go back over to our store, go to apps, and the next one we're going to start to configure is the upsell kit. Now the upsell kit is a great tool because it really helps increase that average order value. And they give you a couple different options. You can do product bundling, upselling, cross-selling. For now, we're just going to go ahead 
and uh, create an upsell. So we're going to search for our tr trigger item, which is going to be the the nine in one push up board. Oh, I got to go to create new offer trigger item nine in one that should pop up add it now we're gonna select the item that we want to upsell and let's pick one of the products we'll do the fitness resistance bands and we'll choose a discount we'll do 20 percent and enable it the offer title we'll just do the default you may also like and then just come down here and select create offer yes enable it so now we have an upsell offer ready to go so we'll come into the product page and you'll see now we have the reviews that we just added they're right down here in the bottom and when a, a customer comes to your website and they decide to add this product to the cart the fitness, the fitness bands will pop up right here as an upsell with the discount code included. And all they have to do is click right here, add it to cart. And now both products are in the cart and your average order value just went up. So did your profit. And this is what it's all about. So these two apps are great. Next, we're going to move into with well, a currency converter plus it's, it's a, it's a great app for stores who are selling um, to inter international countries who have different currencies. Once you install it, you won't have to make any edits. The default settings are good to go. If you want, you can come in and play around with some of these settings, but I suggest you don't do that. Uh, the default settings are good enough. So abandonment protector is a great email marketing app. You can use it to do things like create automated emails, create pop-ups on your store, what we use it for is creating abandoned checkout um, emails. So we're going to come down here onto automated emails, and then we're going to click here to enable abandoned checkouts. And we're going to go to edit email templates. And we like to keep these looking as simple as possible. We like this one right here. And you can go in and edit it however you like. Start by updating your logo. Then you can go on and change some of this text in this short paragraph. You can also update the discount code below to whatever you want. Now what this email is going to do is it's going to bring those items that your customer left in their checkout cart and it's going to bring them right here. And once they click the checkout button, this discount is going to be automatically applied to their order. So all they have to do is click checkout and they're going to be brought right back to your website with the items they left with the discount code applied. So the next step is going to be to select the template. And at this point, you can go in and edit everything that you want now that we've selected it. And this email is going to send 10 minutes after the abandoned checkout occurs. And you can also go in and update the second and third emails as well, which we definitely suggest you do so that you get a solid flow of emails going to your customers and don't miss any opportunities to get them to reconvert. So now we're going to click save changes. And the first email sequence is ready to go. So that does it for part two of the Zendrop Shopify store build series. If you haven't already signed up for your free 90 day Shopify trial or free Zendrop plan, the links will be in the description below. Stay tuned for part three when we begin customizing the theme for the website and adding the finishing touches. Before you leave, hit that subscribe button and smash that like button. We really appreciate your support for the channel. Until next time, be great.